this video, we are going to implement responsive design as part of the project that is the movie app project. So let's get started. Cool. So let's head over to Material UI website and then let's let me show you the responsive design of Material UI. Alright, so Material UI have so many ways of implement responsive design. One is using the grid system and other stuffs right so we have the grace list grace system here you can use the grace system to do that all right so let me show you the simple way and easier way to implement responsive design using different style cool so what you are going to do in this video is first let's head over to the default style right so we scroll down here and then under styles and then the customization here customization and then let's look at the default theme all right, and then when you look here, we have the breakpoint, right? As you can see here, for the breakpoint, we have these methods and functions here up, down, between, only. We're going to use this idea to implement responsive design. All right, and we're going to use a hook called use media query, right? We're going to what is called use media query to do that. So first of all, let's search for use media query. But before that, we can search for breakpoint here under customization. Let's click on breakpoint, right? And material UI gives us this nice breakpoint, right? So for the smaller screens, we have zero, zero to zero pixels to seven hundred pixels are for small screens, and from medium screen from six hundred to nine hundred sixty. And for medium from 960 to 1280 and like that. Okay, so as you can see here, um, CSS media queries are the idiomatic approach to make your UI responsive. The theme provides four styles helpers to do so. So, like I said, we have way too much, so many ways of doing that. But using CSS media queries, you're gonna get make our life easier. So we have what is called the breakpoint up, down, only, and between. So when you scroll down to when you scroll down here you see how it is implemented right so i'm going to show you how we can do that and i'm going to use another hook called use media query hook to determine which breakpoint are we on okay so with that much talking let's go back to code and then implement that but first of all we need to bring in what is called use media query right and we need, we need what is called the um what do you call it this css media queries yeah so we're going to create a, a, a theme inside a component grab this breakpoint and pass it into the use media query to determine which breakpoint we are on so let's implement it to see how it works cool so here let's bring in um inside the navbar component not the drawer component so let's require some props here right so first of all sorry the APIs first of all we need what is called make styles for material you are called make styles I think we have it all right so next is let's bring in use theme so use theme you're going to help us to customize a theme for a particular component right so this use theme make it happen but the one that we did for theming is global customization but if you want to customize a certain theme in a certain component that will be different from other component we use what is called use theme cool so now let's scroll down let's scroll down here and then implement the customization of the theme right all right cool so let's go down here and then before let's bring uh use tag here now okay okay so here before or below the use states, let's have a comment here. So say theme customization. Like so. Cool. So here, let's create an instance of the theme. So cons theme, and then we assign it to what? Use theme. Like that. So with this with this two lines of code we have access to the theme inside this component so let's try to console.log theme and you can see that we have the theme inside our component let's check it out 
and where is the project here and then oh theme is not defined all right let's see where it's saying oh it's theme but not them all right let's check it out let's go to the console and see that we have don't worry about this um, error so we're going to fix it as you put it on but let's head over to this object the one we get you see that we have the theme inside our project right the default theme so we are going to tap into into the pilot and then use these functions up or down to make it responsive cool let me click this one and then let's continue the implementation now i have my theme so how are we determine a certain breakpoint right so remember that we have the up where is it we have the up down and um between and only look here we see we have the keys right so we have on the extra small screen we have small screen we have medium and large so we're going to use this function determine are we on a small screen extra small small medium or large or extra large to make it happen cool so here now we can get access to the to the breakpoint right whether up or up or down or below so here let's create a variable say is match so this match gonna return true or false right it's match is equal to use media query let's bring in the use media query as well i think use media query is from so let's bring it here as well call use use media query from the core not the icons so let's scroll down and then here use media query and here you need to pass in this determine which breakpoint are we on so here we want to determine if we are on a smaller screen and because of that on the theme remember we have what is called the breakpoint right you saw it in the console that we have the breakpoint so um breakpoint like that and on that we have these functions whether it is up or down or only or between so here we want to display all components that is down down means that from down means that is from top to down right so from from smaller screen downwards that's what it means right so this is going to return true or false so if you try to console.log is match it's going to return true or false right like that so let's check it out now let's refresh it uh, so don't worry about this error this um console here we're going to fix it okay as you can see at the point the first point was false and then second one is what true because if you if you reduce the screen size of the, of the application as you can see here look here on the live screen it's going to return what false i think you have a tough console log here with errors here don't worry about that so if you reduce the size okay let me do it for you to see here and then let me reduce the here like that cool so now let me clear the console here and then let's refresh now, as you can see here let's scroll up here and i think we're going to see true or false here um, where is it you see it's false but when you reduce the, the screen size to certain breakpoint the smaller one that is down small and down screen you're going to see it's true you just see that we have it so we're going to determine whether it's true or false before we can render this um, drawer right so let's get going now let's go back to the code and then also implement that so before we can return the drawer component we are going to check whether it is small screen or large screen so let's cut this one and add this conditional here is match if it is match then let's display the component as that so check it out you see when we refresh the application for the first time it doesn't come right but if you try to reduce the size there we go if you reduce by uh, increase it it goes away bring it back it comes large it goes smaller it comes 
like that so if you see that the implementation is working fine the responsive design is working fine but on the smaller screen i want to do away with this now this one here and then display the drawer only so the same implementation so let's get back to code and where we are displaying the tabs here we can also make some conditions here so let's cut all these tabs and let's check if it's match here so this time around if it is not match then then let's display and and an operator and display the tabs like that check it out all right cool so we see here if we reduce the font the screen size we see that it goes away and then the drawer the drawer didn't come it comes okay you see tabs comes drawer goes drawer comes tabs goes okay so if you see that the responsive design is working perfectly okay cool so the next video we are going to implement the routing and then if you're able to run a component then we start implementing the actual logic of the project see you in the next video